If you don't already know, the S1 is an automatic filament loader that we designed in order to make your printing experience seamless. It automatically reloads your filament mid-print so there's no need for manual changes, as well as it's universally compatible with almost any 3D printer on the market. It was specifically designed with print farmers in mind and we offer sides that hold up to 5 kilogram spools as we know a lot of you like to use the bigger rolls. Here at Infinity Flow, we know just how important it is to minimize downtime as we start our own production print farm and the S1 was specifically designed for just that. So let's hop into how the S1 actually works. Let's start with one of the main questions that we've been asked which was how does the S1 work without any firmware changes? So here I have an S1 which I've removed the head to and then here I have a disassembled head um, and if you take a look here you can see that we use force sensing utilizing this spring which communicates with the motor controller. It then tells the motor to move forward, backwards, or sit still. This is also how the S1 is able to detect the specific speed that your printer is running at and match it. One of the next questions we got is how does it work without splicing the two ends of filament together? If you don't know, the S1 doesn't splice or connect the two filament ends together at all. It simply pushes the next filament in directly after the previous one. In 3D printing, as the filament is pushed into the hot end, it melts. Duh. Once melted, it uses the pressure from the filament behind it to be extruded from the nozzle. The S1 operates in the exact same way. Because the two ends of filament are pushed in right after one another, once they reach the hot end, they are fused together and then are pushed through the nozzle like normal. Our most common question that gets asked across all platforms, including Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook, is will this work with my printer? And the simple answer is yes. As I explained, it doesn't require any firmware modifications, but what it does require is a clear Bowden input into the extruder. And you might be thinking, well, mine doesn't have that, so it probably doesn't work. But hear me out. There are tons of adapters that have been created for various printers and extruders that allow a Bowden input. Um, and many of those can be found online with other resources on how to create your own for your specific setup. Along with that, we are also going to have our own personal GitHub page, which is going to have various adapters that we've tested here at Infinity Flow, along with the instructions on how to install them to your printer. We are going to be constantly testing the most common printers and adding them to that GitHub. However, as you guys know, there are hundreds, if not thousands of different printers and setups. Um, so we probably won't be able to get to them all, but we really encourage you guys as makers to create your own adapters that fit your setup perfectly so that you guys can attach the S1. And here I'll take you over to our current setup. We just got started, but here's our current setup. As you can see, we have the A1 with our special fitting, um, and then it attaches straight into the S1. We got another A1 here, and then we got the Prusa Mark IV. We also have this adapter which we created, which will be on the GitHub as well. But as you can see, it goes straight into the S1. We also do have a P1S back there, if you can see it. Um, but we use that one more for prototyping while these are production. And then we're hoping to get like three more probably and fill out this shelf so that we can have the full production. Um, going we got our bins over here to keep all the parts that everything's printed in a little station And then what actually comes on the a ones is this little four to one fitting that I'll grab here Yeah, so here's the four to one fitting you just got to pop it off which we explain in the github instructions and all that um, But then you can just plug ours in But yeah, that's basically it. Let me know if you want to see a full office tour soon and if there are questions that you still have that we didn't answer in this video, drop them down below.